We can't go on doing this. We can't go on killing each other over different interpretations of the Bible. Uh, some bits of that do survive in Northern Ireland in our, in our own day, in a different form. Not that different, but that's where it comes from. Um, in America, there were so many different kinds of Christians that it was decided it has to be a state compromise. No one will ever rule for one sect. It's impossible. No one possesses yeah. the entire knowledge, even of these dictated texts, one of, one of which God only speaks Hebrew, and in the other one of which God only speaks Arabic. And in all cases, there are discrepancies. And though I revere the King James Version of the, of the Bible, I also revere the Lady Governor of Texas who once said about religious instruction in schools that if and Hispanic immigrants having to assimilate it in this way, she said, well, if English is good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. <laughs> um, you see, in other words, you see, in other words, the essential absurdity that, that what the, the Wahhabi uh, clan or sect, rather, would be better to say, much better, I mean sect, yes. of Saudi Arabia, has a, a, its own version of the Quran, which is actually available now in, America, in the American prison system, which openly says that unbelievers, which means those who don't believe at all, or those who believe differently, Jews and Christians, are not people of the book, they're enemies. That's their version of it. That's handed out now by tolerant people who mm -hmm. believe in pluralism. In America. The Saudi government has paid for madrasas in America, to promulgate that view of, of Islam. Um, the Saudis sent envoys to Bosnia, where I, I was full scale for defending the Muslims of Southern Europe from massacre by Christian and fascists of two kinds, Orthodox Greek fascists and Catholic Croat fascists and Serbian Orthodox fascists. Yeah. Uh, they sent envoys to say, we're Muslims, we're with you. So well, the first thing, however, you'll have to do is destroy all your graveyards, which went back to the Ottoman era. Mm. Yes. Because they're profane. We don't have gravestones. That's idolatry. Right? So you can be happy uh, in a way. You should be happy. Um, there will be, there is a civil war in Islam. No. That's what's going on. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. It's not Islamism versus tolerance yeah. or versus Christianity, yeah. Judaism or Zionism. It's a civil war in Islam whereby a very ugly group of people hope to take over and restart the empire of the caliphate, so they're not anti-imperialist and impose the Sharia, which means they're not pluralist. Mm. Are you concerned mm. about the movement? Come on, well, we, we have to make sure that the people, the Muslims they're trying to conquer, win. But the, Sorry, mate. But the, we'll it. come to you in a moment. Um, could, could you address the move made by the Bush administration, which is seeking to change the American Constitution to make um, same-sex marriage, to outlaw same-sex marriages, the, Massachusetts, the developments in Massachusetts about that? Yes, I can. So it doesn't touch on religions. Well, it touches on religious practice, marriage. It says what is true. Is it says what is true, that the religious texts forbid any such thing. It does say that. It won't, it won't carry... I don't actually think it will really be proposed. It hasn't been part in the, of the Constitution. Well, the I, and, um, no. And it shouldn't be. The Constitution takes no notice of exactly this. That's what the First Amendment means. Mm -hmm. It's not just a violation of the spirit of the Constitution. It's a huge violation of the letter of it. Con Congress can take no notice of religious doctrine. It will fail. Again, I hope they try it, but they'll be, they'll be terribly defeated. I should add, not just for tease, but I do think that the wish to be married misses the point of being gay. Yes, no, I quite agree with that. <laughs> I may not be the, I may not be the go-to guy on this. Um, <laughs> You don't want to Having had a number of heterosexual entanglements, not all of which worked out too brilliantly. <laughs> uh, I'm sure the audience would like to join in. We've got some time for you to do that. Can we have a light up and have we got microphones here? Yes. Um, there's a person who wants to speak here. Uh, wait a minute, we have to get the microphone to you. Where are the microphones? Um, uh, would you like to shout? Because the microphones are all a long way away and I can repeat, repeat what you have to say. Yeah. I had no idea there were so many of them. I, I would have been much more shy. <laughs> So I can hear, yeah? Yeah, this question for Mr. Hitchens. This is actually a question about belonging. I recently returned to the Well, I repeat it. You'll I repeat to, it. You'll have to give it some welly, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, I can hear you, but I it's don't think you can hear that. You speak into the microphone. Yes. Can you hear that now? Yeah. yeah. It's can a question for Mr. Hitchens. I recently returned from 13 years in the United States, and it's a question about belonging. And one of the reasons I'm pleased to be back here is that it's a probably the most, or one of the most secular countries in Europe. It's a very tolerant country. Um, the country you still make your life in is now 
ruled by a clique of religious bigots, Christian fundamentalists, um, who have Neanderthal political views on the environment and many other things. And my question to you is... Well, let's cheer them up. And the, yeah, <laughs> this will cheer you up. So I wonder... I now, wonder they, now they don't have to worry I about I wonder... And don't tell me to fuck off. I'll tell you to fuck off. So you, haven't, I wonder, you haven't pushed me yet. So, so I wonder what keeps you there, or is it just the gobs of dollars that you get from Vanity Fair? Over to you. Excuse me? This is, this is a sorry, Christopher Bating question. Sorry, do you want to have another run at saying that? I wonder what keeps you there, if it's not, or is it, that just the gobs of money you get from Vanity Fair? Is that the reason that you still are an apologist, actually? actually in a way you one can. of the leading apologists for the United States of America and its can you... colonial and religious... Well, part. And it's very funny to hear you pontificate against right. religion. Christopher, nope. it's, it was beautifully phrased, and I think it could be taken as a comment. I, I couldn't improve on it myself. I certainly couldn't improve on it if I was you. Mm. So, and since everybody knows what you mean, I, I'll take it as a contribution. Next question. Here. Good evening, Mayor. Hello, you. how they would have. And see you afterwards. Speak up. May I ask the panel how they would have, would have dealt sure. with the assault on the Birmingham Repertory Theatre? and whether they would have closed the play because it was causing offence. I don't know whether you, you were here, Christopher. Mm, you know about the, uh, the, yes, of course the, I do, yeah. the Sikh attack on a, the Birmingham yes. rep, which were doing a play written by a Sikh woman, which is a significant point, and the riots, the, the theatre itself closed its yes. own production rather than allow the police to keep order, which is their task and uh, they closed it voluntarily. Would you have closed it? No, I think it was a, a most unfortunate act of cowardice. I mean, by no stretch of the imagination could you uh, imagine or tolerate living in a, um, in a country where someone from within a particular religion writes what I understand was a reasonably uh, intelligent play. Not that it has to be, um, uh, uh, to have been a particularly intelligent or insightful play, but it was quite clearly not a play designed to inc incite hatred. Um, and I think it's unfortunate that the theatre wasn't better supported. There's no question about that. I think there's a, um, there's a very dreary and, and typical um, comment that uh, people made. They made it over the Salman Rushdie fatwa. It was a very British kind of thing. Well, it was a rather dreadful book, isn't it? As if that is of any re relevance. It isn't a dreadful book as it happens. And it was a kind of tear him for his bad verses uh, response that uh, the poor old um, sin of the poet got, wasn't it? Or the other.